All right, well, we started off the day a little promising, and then it quickly turned <laughs> to rain out there. Perfect day to stay inside, and I don't know, maybe watch WJZ News at 6.30. Yeah, I think it was a great day for that. Although we did get a couple peaks of sunshine this morning, so you thought, eh, maybe we could get a squeeze out a couple more, but not, not the case at all. It really opened up after lunchtime today. Fortunately, it looks like most of the rain's out of here, although we're still tracking a couple of showers across the area, mainly down into portions of uh, Calvert County and down into southern Anne Arundel County. This is uh, the past four hours radar looping. You can see how quickly that rain moved out of there. This is what we're tracking right now. You can see a few of those showers trying to make their way across the bay now over towards section of Queen Anne's as well as uh, Talbot counties. Uh, we'll see if these hold together as they continue to move over towards the eastern shore, but for the most part, this is really all we're going to be dealing with here for this evening. Just some spots. Showers, very light, nothing compared to what we had just a few hours ago. Temps are pretty mild though, into the 50s to around 60 degrees. Uh, areas that have not seen much rain this afternoon are a little bit warmer. We're going to keep a chance for rain in the forecast here through midnight tonight, although I think for the most part, most of the heavier rain is out of here, and we're looking at a drier forecast as we go into your Monday. Warmer too, because this warm front's going to be lifting northward across the area. But this system is the first of several that'll be affecting us this week. These little dips that you see here are upper level disturbances. There's one here moving through parts of the upper Mississippi Valley through the Great Lakes. Here comes another one moving into the four corners, and then yet another one coming off the Pacific coast. And you see these upper level storm systems will be affecting our area. Here comes another one that's going to make the its way into the region Tuesday night and a Wednesday. Then another one is going to sneak its way into the region sometime later Thursday into Friday. And that's going to provide us with yet another opportunity for rain as we get into the upcoming weekend. Right now it looks like the weekend is going to be dry, at least next weekend, but uh, kind of a wet end of the work week. Temps tonight are going to stay pretty much where they are right now, into the 50s for most areas. And then highs for tomorrow afternoon, take a look at this, back into the mid 70s. But we're not going to see a whole lot of sunshine. We'll see a few peaks from time to time, but it will stay primarily mostly cloudy. Mostly cloudy, lingering showers tonight, 53 with a light southeast wind. Highs tomorrow, 76, maybe an early shower, but gradual clearing as the afternoon goes on with a westerly wind, 5 to 10. First alert, seven day forecast looks like this. Temps actually stay pretty reasonable throughout the week. Mainly into the 70s for highs, but there are those chances for rain. We've got periodic opportunities. Looks like Wednesday and then again later Thursday into Friday into the first part of Saturday is when we'll see our best chances. Kelsey, back over to you.